god, I've got low battery. It's 8 p.m. And you can start feeling the, the heat. Damn, summer came with everything in just one day. This week it's Clark Gracie doing an intensive in one of the academies here in Hong Kong, which is Chris Collins Academy. He's doing an intensive of five days and I got the permission to film it. I was born in the U.S., in Northern California, San Francisco area, and then I moved to Brazil for high school. But I would always go for vacation. When I was in high school, then I went and stayed there. My mom's American, my dad's Brazilian. My dad's Carla Gracie, the son of Carlos Gracie, the one who learned from YouTube and Maeda. My dad was the first one in the family to come to the U.S. in 1972. Maybe some people don't know that because I think for the world, the real, like, big moment for Jiu-Jitsu was when the UFC started, right? Then it's like, whoa, what's this? What, what are these guys doing? They're tying these guys up. They're wearing, you know, geese, you know, what's going on? And uh, Boyce is there representing the family, representing Jiu-Jitsu for the world, for, for us. And uh, and that was in the mid 90s, right? And then Horian was uh, the founder of the UFC, one of the founders of the UFC. So this was the real moment that like everybody was like, wow, you know? What's this going on? But you, your dad was there from way before. Yeah, my dad came to the U.S. in 1972 to teach the U.S. Marines in Quantico, Virginia. He first came to New York, then was in, in, uh, also in Florida, and then eventually ended up in California and San Francisco, where he still is and has an academy. For me, San Francisco was a little chilly, so I moved down south to San Diego and uh, lived the jiu-jitsu lifestyle down there. <laughs> Minded to try this as a, as a medical treatment, yeah. But I think for, for recreational use, for me, the nicest thing to feel, which is something I don't want to disturb, is the natural high that Jiu Jitsu gives you when you finish that match. You just you feel this physical endorphins going through your body, you know what I mean? And uh, I think it's also very important to be like as alert as possible, you know? Cannabis can affect different people differently. It's hard to say, you know, because everybody has a different reaction from it, but I think uh, people still need to be responsible. And I think people need to embrace what it is to be 100% just in you, you know, just natural in your body and in your brain and, and what the, the effects of the activities you do, do on your body. Yeah, I follow the Gracie diet. I follow the Gracie diet the best I can, uh, the way I was raised to do it from my father. <laughs> Hey, egg tart is just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what the greasy diet is. Right? <laughs> you really gotta study it. You know, it's not just like eating you know, the healthiest things in the world. You know, it's, it's more about the combinations of the food. You know, I'm sure everybody has experienced this, and I think Jiu Jitsu is an amazing tool to help you experience this. Is what you eat, and then you go do Jiu Jitsu. How you feel during that time or after Jiu Jitsu, especially during when somebody has that knee on your belly, when you're struggling to get out of a bad position how you feel during that time. So the Gracie diet was just made to, as a, as a food combination, you can easily digest your food and take the nutrients out of the food. And if you don't eat the right stuff before you step on the mat, 
you're going to feel it. Although if you don't get on the mat and you just go home and lay in bed, you might not even notice that you're eating something that doesn't really digest well in your body. So Jiu-Jitsu is the tool that we use to find out. He's like, he's the one that got me into like even alkaline water, 9.0, but he's he's very disciplined. He I, He's taught me a lot about the mindset of a healthy lifestyle. I already had that kind of, but he opened me up in terms of just the way he eats, the way he works out. I was using too much heavy weight. He uses a lot of body weight. So mm. he taught me a lot of that stuff. You know what I mean? He just taught me a lot that, you know, look, you want to prolong this for a long time. And usually young guys don't take that mindset. You wait, you wait till you're older and broken. But Clark's very disciplined. From the beginning, since early 20s, we were hanging out. He was disciplined. And Enjoy the world, enjoy jiu-jitsu, travel, meet new people, jiu-jitsu connects you around the world, connects you to people that you would have never met before in your life. Think about it, jiu-jitsu is an amazing vehicle. Enjoy it, enjoy life, enjoy the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. I want to give a shout out to my family, my son Kaleo, of Jiu Jitsu practitioners around the world, including my association around the world, and my students back in San Diego. I miss you guys, and I'll see you guys back again soon. If you guys are in Hong Kong, this is your family right here, Chris Collins. Hey guys, this is my extremely photogenic moment. Bye.